Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF. I spent a little over $100 on more YSL lip products. We already took a journey down the YSL road when I tried out these crazy lip stains that were said to change your lip color, lipstick. Uh, they didn't work out so great. Funny enough though, I really love the way they look. So I actually have them on display just because aesthetically I love the YSL packaging, but these ones were pretty much a total fail. However, I really wanna try these because it is a new matte formula that is a stain and I am so picky when it comes to matte formula on my lips. Also the applicator looked like something that I hadn't seen ever before and that rarely happens. So they have 17 colors. I didn't buy all 17, forgive me. I did pick up three and I think we have a pretty decent range here. This is said to stay on the lips for eight hours. It's gonna be really comfortable. We're gonna test it for the full eight hours. It's 4.39 right now, so it's pretty late in the day, but you know, I'm gonna stay up pretty late anyway, so I figure let's just sit down and play with these because I can't wait any longer. I wanna see if they work out. This is new, so this has 45 reviews, but it almost has a perfect score, which to me is like, oh, okay. I need to try out that perfect score item and see what we have going on because when YSL gets it right, they get it right. I am wearing my favorite foundation again today. I just cannot do without it. I always go back to it right now. I'm wearing the All Hours and I think it's fabulous. Where do we start? I need to take off my lip that I'm wearing right now. That's where we start. I am gonna try on all three shades. So because my lips are a little bit flaky, I am gonna use a little bit of lip scrub real quick. I'm taking the Watermelon Gum from Jeffree Star. This is a lip velour. And if you don't wanna spend money on a lip scrub, I will link below a video from many, many, many years ago on how to do a quick little DIY. It was when I did Tip Tuesday. If you guys were around for Tip Tuesday, let me know in the comment section who's been here that long. Beauty tips in two minutes or less. So this does say that it is a revolutionary formula with ultra matte high impact color and a lightweight naked feel. This is going to give a tattoo like color. It's non-drying, thank you God. And this is going to give you eight hours of wear. The exclusive liner-like applicator allows for precision and outlining. That's what drew me into this product. And the color never feathers or spills over the lip line. We shall see about that. So let me show you the colors really quick and then I'm gonna zoom you guys in. So I got something very fiery and red just to see like how bright this product could be. This is number one. And then we have something cute and neutral, number 11. And we have number three, which is just very neon and fun. And these are the Tattooage Matte Lip Stains from YSL. Let's get to application. I'm gonna start with the most tame of the bunch and then go to the brightest because I think I wanna wear the red today just because I don't know, I'm just kind of in that mood, I guess. So this is the weird applicator I was talking about. Online, it actually made it seem like this was see-through right here. So that's a little different than what I was expecting, but it does have this kind of weird slant right here. And you're supposed to be able to really line your lips so you don't need a lip liner. And we're gonna see about that. So let's just go in, okay. I think there's a lot of alcohol in here because it is stinging. I really like this applicator, you guys. This is genius applicator. You do have to kind of even it out though. Looks just slightly patchy. And I'm just gonna take the edge of this and like smooth it out like cake frosting. And with this type of a product, you also don't wanna like smack your lips together. Just let it set, let it do its thing, let it dry down, and you'll be better off than smearing it around. Ooh, nose itch. I don't wanna ruin my makeup. Oh, this is like the worst part of... I try so hard, especially with my nose. Like, you know, a nose itch, you just wanna like... Mm. Um, that is the number one way to get your contour and all of your makeup kind of everywhere. So just be mindful. 
This is the first one dried down and I am really surprised that I actually enjoy this quite a bit. I really like the color. It is not as crazy bright as the actual tube makes it out to be. That applicator is a dream. This one I did have to kind of smooth out a little bit, but once it dries down, it is matte and it is lightweight. So it is everything that it claims to be and I like it. I wanna see what the other colors look like on and then you know, the big test is to see how many hours it wears. All right, we are gonna try the very uh, everyday, no makeup makeup, natural, basic type of a shade that I personally love. I mean, this is the kind of shade I normally would go for. Uh, this is number 11. Am I imagining things or does this look pretty much the same? Wait, oh my God, I'm dummy. This was the first one I put on, right? Tati. Okay, rewind. I made a mistake, you guys. Forgive me, this was the first one I tried on. I was like, wow, it's so much more natural than this bright magenta tube. That's because you started with the lightest one. I'm fired. All right, we're going in with this bright number right here, number three. Ooh. This one, I feel like I wanna go in with a second coat. So this does take several minutes to dry down matte. It does stay kind of tacky for quite a while. That is kind of annoying, but once it does dry down, you won't have any problem with it feeling sticky. If you wanna speed up the process, you can kind of tap it in. I actually find this shade very wearable and this is not like a normal shade that I would go to. All right, the last one we are gonna pop on is of course the red and then I'm gonna go run some errands, take you with me and do a bunch of check-ins. Oh, sh this one stain, oh my God. I forgot that it had the word stain in it. You guys, that's been on my lips for like a minute. It's not coming off. Holy smokes. I actually kind of like it rubbed off like this where it's just, just my lips stained. Let's see what happens when I take a sip of tea. Yeah, nothing left behind. I'm not gonna completely panic and like scrub the crap out of my lips to take this stain off. I'm sure oil would reduce the amount of stain that is on there. So I'm gonna give you a swatch on my hand of what the color representation is and then we're just gonna pile this shade on top and wear it. None of their other stains in the past have actually evenly and so richly stained my lips. It's a little nerve wracking knowing that it stains that you don't wanna like get outside the line or you're screwed. That is really nice. You guys, this applicator makes putting on a darker product so easy. It just kind of like, you can tilt your head back and if you have uneven lips like me, you can really just slightly go outside the edge and it's just working. I'm enjoying this so far. I thought I might like it. I didn't think I would like it this much. Um, this isn't sponsored. Obviously the last round I went with YSL, I was not a fan of and I have no problem sharing that, but this is really kind of shocking me at the moment. So I'm gonna go uh, do a few things around the house, run some errands and I will do a bunch of check-ins and we will see how many hours we can squeeze out of this product. Seems like, so there's 2,500 bucks there. Okay, that is some bright red lipstick, you guys. It is still going strong. I have had this now on my lips for about two hours. Oh, wow. I expected more to come off because I have not blotted, but I have been drinking out of a water bottle. I've had a little tea. I haven't eaten anything yet. That's gonna be a big test. I kinda match, James. I still think I match you. Anyway, um, we I are- like lipstick. You like the lipstick. I like the lipstick a lot. You never like me in red. I love you in red. No, you do not. Whenever I wear red, you're like, it's the wrong red. I love you in red lipstick. So th this is the right red? That looks beautiful. Why, thank you. I'm not seeing the kits that I'm looking for, but I do see other stuff. You guys, I'm at Sephora like twice a week. This is ridiculous with what I do. So let's take a wander around together.
struck out, guys. I did not find the boxes of product that I wanted to review. On the bright side, there is a new juice place that just opened here, and I love some juice and health food and all of that good stuff. So I'm gonna order the Sephora kits online, review them in a few weeks, and get some juice. I was trying to block the sun for you. No, you did. And then I tried to unblock the sun. <laughs> I was being mischievous, but it didn't work. The juice is good. I mean, it's not very sweet, but it's not bad. What are you doing? Puka, come here. Hi. We're at about a solid four and a half hours of wear time, and I wanted to get in front of the lights in the studio to show you guys. It still looks really, really good. I have had a little bit of a snack. Um, I have had a green juice and been sipping on water like I normally do, and it hasn't transferred off really much at all. I am still really, really into this. Okay, you can kind of see from this angle. Do I see how it's just like slightly wearing off? Not bad, but it does kind of in the lines and from talking, it does patch off just a tiny little bit. It is past my bedtime. I need to take off the lashes. I need to take off this very budge proof lip product and call it a day. I'm really surprised with how well this wore. It wore better than almost all the matte products that I've tried recently. I ate dinner and I was not cute about it. So the fact that this is still like on here, super, super impressive. I want more shades, I love it. It is a tiny bit drying, that's the one drawback but just use a good balm, use a good lip scrub and you should be fine. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button, share the video, leave those comments below. I love you so much for hanging out with me and I will see you all in tomorrow's video. Mwah.